its homecoming 1980 on the campus of the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. And the festivities really last all week long, leading up to the football game on Saturday afternoon between Tennessee and Virginia. Yes, the color of fall in East Tennessee. On Friday afternoon, students sponsored the annual homecoming parade. The University of Tennessee Pride of the Southland Band. The Grand Marshals of the parade. The cheerleaders. And of course, Homecoming Parade floats entered by various organizations on the campus of the University of Tennessee. Volunteer Harvest, 1980. From the parade to Saturday morning, as over 94,000 fans come to enjoy homecoming 1980 at Neyland Stadium. band in its traditional pre-game performance to the strains of Rocky Top. And then the band being the giant tee through which the team races onto the field as it's football time in Tennessee. It's a gorgeous day for football. Temperature in the low 60s, not a cloud in the sky. As the Tri-Captains, that's Gaines 27, Daniels 43, Irwin 78, meeting with the captains of the University of Virginia. As the toss of the coin is won by Tennessee, the Volunteers elect to receive, and Virginia will be kicking off. This is Morrison booting the ball downfield, and Tennessee has Willie Galt under the football. This is Galt. Returning the ball upfield, so the Tennessee goes on offense, first down and 10 to go at the 18-yard line. Tennessee in orange, all orange for this football game, and Virginia, whose colors are orange and blue, wearing the white jerseys. Alatori, the quarterback, give to Barry. Barry juggles the ball as he is racked up getting to the line of scrimmage by Bud. Gain of a yard on the play, third and nine at the 19. The pitch again to Barry, 20, 25, forward to the 26 or seven yard line. Racked up by Chester and Booker. A second look, Barry lowering the head and booming forward for a gain of seven, leaving it third down and two at the 26. Alatori against a five-man front, now it becomes a six-man line. Pitch to Barry at the corner, no, he stopped right in the middle. And that's middle guard Booker sliding wide to make the stop. It's fourth down and into the football game is John Warren. Warren to punt, gets some pressure, but gets the punt away. This is Chester asking for and making the fair catch for the Cavaliers. 
Virginia shifting the tight end right to left. Tennessee reacts, sending its really only defensive end over there, head up on the tight end. The pitch goes to Hall turning the corner. He got maybe three or four yards, maybe more than that actually, closer to seven. It's going to be second down and three yards to go. Again, the shift to the end, putting the strong side to the right. Kirkley to pass across the middle. The pass is complete. Kirtley's pass complete to Egan, a second look from the end zone. Great grab by Egan. Then Egan is racked up by a host of volunteers, but it will be first down and 10 to go as the ball is moved to the volunteer 48-yard line. Virginia with the ball, running up the middle hall, stood up by Lamont Holt Jeffers after a gain of four yards down to the 44-yard line. Nothing to nothing to score. Tennessee in a five-man front against Virginia. Strong side to the left. They don't shift. The pitch will go. There's Hall turning around the left side of the line. Knocked down by Jeffers. It'll be short of the first down. They shift the end once more. Kirtley running and in trouble is dropped. Greg Gaines from his safety position creeping up on the end. A second look from the sideline. There's Gaines making the stop short of the first down and so it will be fourth down and three yards to go and into the football game comes Hurst. Hurst gets the putt away squibbing it downfield asking for and making a fair catch for Tennessee is Bill Bates. So the volunteers go on offense first down and 10 to go at the Tennessee 22 yard line. Bill Bates sophomore from Knoxville. Alatori number 16 is the quarterback. Alatori handoff with the ball carrying to the left side cutting up field this will be Anthony Hancock on the reverse from the end zone a second look Hancock gets outside needs one block gets it then covering to knock him out of bounds after the gain of nine yards the safety man Chester second down one for Tennessee Alatori at quarterback Phillips the fullback the tailback is now Terry Daniels standing and this is Daniels who he is met right at the line of scrimmage by big Stuart Anderson actually a loss of a yard on the play third down two yards to go Daniels lowering the head and booming forward for what appears to be a first down and is first and ten for Tennessee Tennessee with its first first down of the football game nothing to nothing the score handoff this is Daniels tripped up after staggering forward for three yards. It will be second down and seven at the 36-yard line. No score in the game in the first period. Alatori behind center Lee North. The guards are Marin and Wilson. The tackles are Irwin and Williams. Alatori on the bootleg, back to throw, in trouble, looking, waiting, passing downfield, complete. Anthony Hancock running the delay route through the middle, made the catch at the 49-yard line. A second look. Good protection for Alatori. Looking, waiting, now passing. Complete Hancock. Gain of seven. It will be second down and three. Alatori again to throw. Out into the flat. It's complete to a back coming out of the backfield. That is Phillips, who maneuvers downfield for seven more yards. And it will be for Tennessee. Second down. Alatori keeping turning he's got a first down racing downfield and the volunteers pick up a first down as Alatori running to the right side goes for 12 yards here's the second look from the sideline great cut by Alatori and Tennessee in a nothing nothing game has moved deeper into Virginia territory to the 32 yard line running with the ball the tail back up the middle is Daniels he gets three to the 29 second and seven Virginia in a 4-4 stack defense. Moving a bit. Alatori to the left to throw. Will run. Alatori 25. 20. Inside to the 19-yard line. A second look at the run by Alatori, the quarterback. Alatori dancing downfield for Tennessee. Picks up 12 yards, maybe closer to 10. But it will be first and 10, Tennessee at the 19. Running up the middle. Big hole. Plowing through comes Phillips. Knocking out five yards down inside the 15. Second down for Tennessee. Nothing to nothing the score. Alatori. No. Daniels is slowed in the backfield. 
by penetration, then wrapped up by Riccardi for no gain. Third down, five yards to go. Alatori to the right. Under pressure, throws into the end zone. The pass is incomplete intended for number 88, Mike Miller. Fourth down and into the game for Tennessee with the score tied nothing to nothing comes Alan Duncan to attempt a 32-yard field goal. Over the ball to snap will be Jack Jolly. Holding will be John Warren. The kick by Duncan splits the uprights. And Tennessee takes the lead over Virginia by a score of three to nothing. Duncan prepared to kick off, and there you see it from the point of impact. Walker, 10, 15, 20, out to the 22-yard line. Virginia first and 10 at the 22. Here's the reverse with Walker cutting up to the 25-yard line for a gain of three as the first period comes to a close. At the end of one, the score, Tennessee three, Virginia nothing. Now Virginia is moving in the opposite direction as Walker running from the tailback position rams up the middle for four yards leaving it third down and four to go. The quarterback is Ma is Kirtley. Man in motion. That was Sweeney pitch Walker first down moving past the 30 yard line out to the 33 and it's first down and 10 to go. Walker out Jenkins in at tailback Tennessee in a four man front. Jenkins is caught and wrapped from behind, and that was Brad White making the penetration from the backside. 60, Jim Noonan, Tennessee's middle guard. Virginia to the line with Kirtley as the quarterback. 3-0, Tennessee leading in the second period. Johnson, a man in motion, movement in the line as the right guard there. You saw number 79 move. Tennessee reacted by, reacting by establishing contact. And so it is a five-yard penalty against Virginia. Kirtley on the pitch to the corner. Oh, great stop there by Brad White. Carrying the ball to the left. Once again, it was Hall. Here you see the second look. Hall. Brad White rides him out of bounds after a gain of only a yard on the play. And it's third down and 13. 89 Castile, 92 Reggie White, 90 Brad White, 47 Lamont Holt Jeffers. 50 Danny Spradlin for Tennessee defensively. Here's the shift of the tight end left to right. Tennessee in a four man front did not react that time. Kirtley back to throw, gets a little pressure, dumps it out into the flat on the screen, complete. Pulled down by Hall, breaks a tackle, running up field, caught and finally knocked down. Bobbled the ball, but he was down as the whistle had sounded prior to the fumble. And it will be short of the first down as it was a 13 to go situation. They got 10, fourth and three punt. A short one asking for the fair catch and making it was Tennessee's Greg Gaines. Tennessee first down, 10 to go at its 36-yard line, leading three to nothing. Daniels stood up by Holloman after a gain of a yard to the left side of the line. Second down and nine. Alatori brings his team to the line of the I formation. Faking to Daniels, play action back to throw. A little pressure, runs to the right. We'll pull it down, we'll run. 40, 43-yard line. Roll down as he gets up field by Heisen after a gain of five yards. Alatori wants to pitch, can't, staggers and falls under pressure from Bud and Anderson. No gain, fourth down. Warren to punt for Tennessee. Skies a spiral downfield. Backing up, Chester under it, makes the fair catch at the 11-yard line. Virginia deep in its own territory on offense, trailing by a score of three to nothing. The Cavaliers in the I formation. The pitch to the tailback. Walker right side, not much there. Jolted as he moves to the right by Gaines and Spradlin. A second look from the end zone. Gain of two on the play. It will be second down and eight at the 13-yard line. Tennessee adjusting on defense to the shift to the tight end. Tailback is Walker. Draw. Walker up the middle. Stumbles and falls. And the man that got a hand out to upend him. That was Spradlin with Reggie White. It will be third down and six. Kirtley back to throw. Long pass downfield. The pass is complete. A second look at the pass from Kirtley to Johnson. 
right down the middle, splitting the defenders. That's Johnson pulling it down, and Bill Bates finally reaches out and makes a touchdown saving tackle. A third look at this big, big pass completion. Kirtland right on target to Johnson, and Johnson is knocked down, but Virginia out of the hole now has the ball in Tennessee territory. 51 yards on the pass. First and 10 at the Tennessee 34-yard line. Walker spinning, grinding, moves the ball down inside. Tennessee's 30 to the 29. It will be closer to the 30, second down and six yards to go. Tennessee leading three to nothing over Virginia. The tight end shifts. Tennessee reacts, sending Castile over there on top of him. Tennessee with the blitz and coming right through the hole. Made by the blitz is the tailback carrying the ball, Jenkins. And he moves it forward. It will be first down and 10 to go. Pitch, Walker coming to the corner. Contain, turns outside, and finally gets the ball inside the 20. He's tackled as he gets to the 19-yard line. Second down upcoming. Tennessee reacts to the defensive shift. The tailback is Walker. This is Walker, right side. Big hole, carrying, fumbles that football. It is rolling loosely. It's on his back, and I think, let's wait and see, Tennessee has recovered. Walker lost the control, reached for the ball. It squirted free, and Tennessee's Greg Gaines ends up with possession. Tennessee on offense at the 17-yard line. Pitch, and for a gain of only two yards to the right side comes Daniels. Out to the 19, second down and eight. The Volunteers leading 3-0. A determined Virginia team. The handoff, Hancock, penetration. He's in trouble, and he's going to be thrown for a loss. The call gets credit for the tackle, a loss of six yards. It's third and 14 at the 13-yard line. Alatori to Daniels on a draw, and he is upended far short of the first down. So the Volunteers on fourth down and 14 and Sir John Warren to punt. Tennessee leads three to nothing, but that long 51-yard pass has turned the momentum Virginia's way, nearing the end of the first half of the game. Warren standing on his goal line to punt, gets some pressure but gets the punt away. Sky's a nice punt downfield. Chester backing up, pulls it down over his shoulder, back to the 40, to the Virginia 45. Knocked out of bounds somewhere in the vicinity of the 45. They spot the ball at the 48-yard line. Man in motion. Back to throw Kirtley. Kirtley's pass complete. Out of the backfield, Sanford. Sanford moving into Tennessee territory. Rambles down to the 36-yard line. First down and 10 to go. Tennessee was offsides on the play. Virginia taking the game declines the penalty. First and 10 at the 36. Again, it's Kirtley. Pressure, pass complete. Again, Sanford, 35. Sanford breaks a tackle, spinning at the 30. Down to the 25, 20, 15, inside the 10-yard line before he's finally knocked down. A second look. Sanford spins free, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, down to the 8-yard line. Virginia trailing by a score of 3 to nothing. Nearing the end of the first half. Tennessee with its goal line defense. Virginia to the line of the eye formation. Man in motion is Johnson. Pitch to Walker. Walker fights down to the six-yard line. Felt it as he gets there. By Reggie White. Second down, Virginia. Kirtley rolling right. In trouble. Throws the ball into the end zone. It is complete for the touchdown. Riccio. High in a crowd, pulling it down. A second look from the sideline. Kirtley's pass. Riccio in the crowd, pulls it down for the touchdown. From the end zone. Riccio. And Virginia grabs the lead, 6-3. In to try the extra point will be Morrison. The kick is up, and it is good. And so, at the end of the first half, the score, Virginia 7, Tennessee 3.
It's homecoming 1980. Fred Waring completing 65 years touring with the Pennsylvanians. One of America's great musicians will be conducting the University of Tennessee Concert Choir in the singing of the alma mater. The alma mater is sung by this concert choir, accompanied by the University of Tennessee Fire to the Southland Band, conducted by Dr. J. Julian. Now it's football time once more as Tennessee's Alan Duncan kicking off downfield. It will be taken by Word, who returns the ball upfield and will wait till they spot the ball. Putting it down at the 30-yard line, first down and 10 to go Virginia, leading 7-3. to three. Third period of the game, Kirtley. To the right side. The pass dumped into the flat. Great catch, Sanford. Sanford to the 38, 39 yard line, maybe for the first down. We'll wait till they spot the ball. Rhyming up the middle. This is Walker. He gets the first down. Straight ahead for four. It's first down and 10 to go. Again, big hole. Walker running with the football. Still on his feet. Dashing downfield. Walker goes for 28 yards, a second look. Big hole right side on the draw. Moving into Tennessee territory to the 34-yard line. Walker carries, Quinton Walker. Tennessee adjusting its defense as Virginia taking the opening kickoff of the second half is moving. Pitch to Walker at the corner, gets a block, turns the corner, still on his feet. Roaring downfield, Walker of Virginia. A second look from the end zone. Walker, 30, 25, inside the 20-yard line. It will be first down and 10 to go. Virginia leading 7-3 to three at the Tennessee 18-yard line. They shift the tight end. They send the man in motion away from the shift. They give the ball to the tailback. That's Jenkins, who catapults over the right side of the line, diving forward for a gain of three yards. Second and seven at the 15. Virginia leads by four. They come with the full house backfield, wing eye right. That's Sanford, nothing much at all. Reggie White at the bottom of the stack. Third down, six. Currently on third down, passes the football downfield. It is deflected down at the line of scrimmage by number 77, Chris Wampler. Pass is incomplete. Fourth down. In will come Morrison to attempt the field goal. The kick is in the air, the kick is good. Virginia leads Tennessee. It's now 10 to 3 in favor of the Cavaliers. Morrison, who has been successful on two field goals, the last one good for 31 yards, will be kicking off. Here's the kick coming downfield. Willie Gall has to wait for the ball to skip to him, fix it up at the 5. 10, 15, 20. There he's down at the 20 yard line. Riccardi made the tackle, first and 10 for Tennessee at the 21, actually. Alatori's gone all the way at quarterback. He fades to throw. He waits. He passes the pass. It's complete. Ooh, and then after making the reception, Daniels was really racked up. Gain on the play of six, second down four. Alatori running. Alatori trying for first down yardage. He's got it. A second look at the run by Steve Alatori. Turning. Moving the ball close to the 40-yard line. It's at the 38. First and 10 for Tennessee. 10 to 3, the score. Virginia leads. James Berry starts right, cuts back to the left. 
Slides through for a gain of five yards. Out to the 43-yard line. It will be second down and five. Alatori play action again to pass. Being pressured. Steps out. Gets running room. 40. Alatori 45. Alatori to the 50. Into Virginia territory. Diving out of bounds in the vicinity of the Virginia 46-yard line. A second look at the play by Alatori. Ducks under a would-be tackle there. Outside of the 45 to the 50. Dives out of bounds. They'll mark the ball. At the 46-yard line of Virginia. Tennessee first down, 10 to go. Moving in the third period of the game. I formation. This is the give to the fullback, and Big Phillips comes churning through the middle. For a gain of five yards down to the 41. It will be second down and five. Tennessee again to the line. Virginia digging in defensively. Four-man front. Pitch at the corner. 40, 35. Barry carries the ball down to about the 33-yard line. First and 10, Tennessee. Alatori again to throw, will run. Getting outside to the 30. Knocked down as he gets inside the 30, down to the 27-yard line by Leneve. Second and five. Tailback. Spinning forward for a gain of two comes Daniels to the 25-yard line. Third down and three yards to go. In motion, Hancock. Tennessee runs behind the motion. Perry. Fights his way to the 20 on beyond. It will be first down and 10 to go, Tennessee. Virginia 10, Tennessee 3. Alatori fakes on play action to Berry. Running to the right. Throws the ball down into the end zone. It is incomplete. Intended for Willie Golf. It was broken up in the end zone by Virginia. Alatori, looking back across the middle, the pass is incomplete. It was intended for tight end Reggie Harper. Third and ten. Looking to throw Alatori. Everybody covered. He runs with the ball for a gain of four to the 16-yard line. Tennessee, fourth down and six to go. And into the game comes Alan Duncan to attempt the field goal. It will be 33 yards in length. The kick by Duncan is in the air, and it is good! Five minutes, 40 seconds, third period. Virginia 10, Tennessee 6. Alan Duncan, who has put all of Tennessee's points on the board, booms the kick into the end zone where it is taken. Tennessee in a five-man defense. Virginia with Kirtley to throw. Kirtley's pass, it is complete. Taken at the third, 22-yard line by Sanford. Gain of two yards on the play. Second down at eight. The shift to the tight end. Fofal, that time, moves left to right. Running that side, Walker is stopped to the line of skipper. 50 is traveling, 89 Castile, 77 Wampler. A second look. Ninety-two, the first man there, Reggie White. Third down. The crowd alive at Neyland Stadium, moving from the south to the north end of the football field. Kirtley, play action, waiting, pass across the middle, complete. Egan pulls it down. It will be first down and ten to go. Walker, that's Jones. Walker finally tackled. Second look at the play by Walker, 40, 45. He's got a first down, ramming to the right side of the line. 14-yard gain. Virginia leading 10 to 6. Broken play, Kirtley will run. Kirtley, 45, 40, down to the 35-yard line. So on what appeared to be a missed handoff, it's another first down for Virginia as they continue to roll toward Tennessee's goal line. Pitch to Walker, 35, 30. Down close to the 25-yard line is Walker. He's at the 27. Tennessee adjusts its defense, bringing the cornerback on the right up close as the give is to the fullback, Sanford. Sanford pounding through the middle. Has first down, 10 to go, Virginia. 
The ball at the 24. Tennessee trailing in the football game. 10. 13. Here's carrying the ball through the left side of the line comes Walker. The score in the game is 10 to 6. As Virginia continues to move downfield with it. Five man front. Johnson in motion. Kirtley. Walker. Walker to the right side. I think he got the first down. It is first and 10. Virginia with Walker carrying. He's gone over 100 yards in the game. On the ground. First down 10 at the Tennessee 14 yard line. I formation. Sanford is the fullback. This is Sanford. Sanford with power over the left side of the line, following behind the blocking of his big center. And also Sweeney moves the ball down inside the 10. In motion, Johnson. Sanford spinning, fighting, driving, then shoved back. Gain of two on the play as the third period comes to a close. At the end of three quarters, the score. Virginia 10, Tennessee 6. Virginia, third down two. Currently to pass down into the end zone. It is incomplete. Fourth down upcoming. And Morrison comes in to attempt the field goal. The kick is up. The kick is good. Virginia once more assumes a seven-point lead. Cavaliers 13, the Volunteers 6. And here is Morrison to kick off. Another bounder. It's fumbled by Galt. Picks it up at the two-yard line. Back to the five, to the 10. And he is knocked down as he gets to about the 13-yard line. Brilliant kickoff coverage that time by Ferenholt. First and 10, Tennessee at the 14. Alatori keeping the ball through the left side of the line. Picks up a gain on the play of about five yards. It'll be second down and five at the 19. 13 to six the score in favor of Virginia. Tennessee against a four-man front. High formation. Alatori wants to throw. Waiting. Long pass downfield. It is incomplete. But there is a penalty marker down on the play. A second look. Alatori throwing for Galt. The long pass. And pass interference is going to be the call. Defensive pass interference, meaning Tennessee will get the football. First down and 10 to go after the penalty. To the outside cuts Berry, and then Berry is drilled out of bounds after picking up three to the Tennessee 46-yard line. Second down, seven. Tennessee, here's the reverse. Hancock, 45 outside to the 48 or 9-yard line, shoved out at the 48. Tennessee at that point will have it. Third down and five yards to go. Alatory pass complete. Barry's got a first down. Inside the 45 to the 44-yard line of Virginia. Tennessee trailing 13 to 6. First down, 10 to go at the 44. Tennessee to the line. I formation. Five-man front Virginia. Alatory pitches reversed. It will be Hancock to the right side. He's got a wall. 45-40, 35-30. 25-20, 15-10, it's a touchdown for Tennessee. A second look from the sideline. Hancock, beautiful wall, blocked by Irwin at the corner. Downfield blocking right there, you saw it. And it's Hancock who gives Tennessee its first touchdown. A third look. Hancock with a deep cut, now at the 50. Watch him streak down the sideline. That's Mirror number seven. Anthony Hancock, 44 yards for the touchdown, and here is Duncan to attempt the tying extra point. It is good, and the score is tied. Tennessee 13, Virginia 13. Kicking off, Alan Duncan. Alan Duncan will be kicking off now for Tennessee. His team tied 13-13. The kick coming downfield. It is taken at the 10, back to the 15, 20, out to about the 24-yard line. Returns word, and it will be first down, 10 to go, Virginia. The score is tied. 
13-13, Virginia to the line. Currently the quarterback. The tight end shifts. That's Riccio. Curtly rolls behind the ship, throws the ball, complete Sanford. Sanford moving outside, racing downfield, shoved out of bounds by, finally by Wilbur Jones. It'll be first down 10 to go after the gain of 13. Virginia at the 39 yard line. Curtly again looking, again passing. It is incomplete, but a penalty marker is down. Penalty marker on the play. Tennessee pass interference against Gaines, and it will be first and 10 at the volunteer 31 yard line. 13 to 13 the score. The Cavaliers to the line. Shifting, now sending the man in motion, now running behind the motion of the ship. Here's Walker in trouble, and he's going to be stopped. Wilbert Jones from the left cornerback position up there to put the stopper on Walker. No gain on the play. Second down, 10. Curtly. Pass downfield. It is incomplete. Wilbert Jones defending. The pass intended for Egan. Third down. Ten yards to go. Walker. Not much. Got about three yards. Fourth down, and here comes Morrison in to attempt a 43-yard field goal. Score. Virginia 13, Tennessee 13. Big, big play. Sanford holds. The kick is up. The kick by Morrison is good. Virginia leads Tennessee with 11 minutes and three seconds to go in the football game, 16 to 13. Morrison, who has made three field goals, now kicks off. Willie Gall, five, ten. Oh, he is really knocked down on a vicious lick by Farenholt. Great tackle, Farenholt. Alatori is tell us he puts the ball in play at the 11. Pass downfield complete. It was thrown to Willie Gault. Gain of 12, first and 10. Alatori, pass, it's caught again. This time Phillips bumped out of bounds. He moves upfield for Tennessee to the 43-yard line. 16 to 13 the score in favor of Virginia. Homecoming for Tennessee. The pitch. This is Randall Morris, the freshman who is running from the tailback position. He gets it forward for two more yards. It'll be third down and two yards to go. Alatori with the ball will run, trying to get the first down. He has the ball at the 45. He's got a first down. Diving it out to the 49-yard line. First and 10. Tennessee trying to move back into field goal range, possibly for a tie. Alatori pressured, throws the ball. It is caught, but out of bounds. Galt made the reception, but he was out of bounds when he did. Second down. Alatori, pass complete. This time it is taken by Anthony Hancock. Gain of four. Seconds ticking away in the football game. Alatori play action, faking the gift to Randall Mars. Rolls to the right side, wants to throw in trouble. Gives up ground, he's thrown. That's Stuart Anderson. Outstanding defensive tackle, making the stop. So it comes right down to this. Steve Alatori visiting with coach Johnny Majors on the sideline. The crowd trying to cheer Tennessee on. Alatori now with the play. Fourth down. Virginia in a prevent defense. Leading by a score of 16 to 13 is Virginia. Alatori being pressured, being dumped on the sack. And Virginia, its players ecstatic about another major victory. Winning over Tennessee by a score of 16 to 13. Tennessee defensive tackle Chris Wampler now with us from Lenore City. Chris, in the game against Virginia, the defense at times played well, but again, the big play was missing. Yes, um, um, our defense, I felt like, play, played good, 
for various reasons. We had a good uh, week at practice this week, and um, we worked hard, and we came out fighting. And um, when we, I feel like when we had our backs against the wall, we, we, we stepped to the challenge. Tennessee fans, of course, know about the lack of defensive ends because of injuries on the Tennessee team. So in the game with Virginia, you were flip-flopping around, adjusting to the tight end to the different side of the motion, and it seemed like at times it was a Chinese fire drill out there. Yes, um, you know, we had to, we worked on it this week in practice on changing back and forth because Mike was more experienced than me at defensive end, and, um, you know, we just had to switch when they switched. When you look at the defense overall, at times you hit pretty hard. Yeah, we had some good licks today, and the defense, uh, I thought, played well. Uh, just ev evidently it wasn't well enough. Did the Virginia motion and all their shifting cause you problems? Well, Virginia, this week in practice we worked on, they had a lot of formations and stuff that we had to work on. And um, the shifting, you know, caused some problems, but we were prepared for it. They executed awfully well, though. Oh, yes. Uh, Virginia's a fine football team. You have to give them credit this week because um, they really played hard. And we played hard, but um, just that uh, we didn't come out on short end of the stick, I guess. Tennessee quarterback Steve Alatoria with us. Steve, your thoughts on the overall offensive performance against Virginia? Well, uh, I thought we played, you know, better than we did last week, uh, Mr. K. And, uh, but obviously it just wasn't good enough. We didn't put that many points on the board to win, and uh, there's no excuses to be made. We just get ready for uh, the week after next and come back even harder. You ran the football quite a bit against Virginia. Was that a plan or just things that opened up? Uh, no, sir. You know, uh, I thought that I felt that uh, defensive secondary had our receivers uh, covered pretty well, and uh, I was just trying to trying to make something happen and get up and get what I could get. This is Terry Daniels, running back from Miami, Florida. Terry, a disappointing loss to Virginia. The offensive time got some spark going, but nothing consistent again. Well, just like last week, <clears throat> we get a we get some breaks. Defense get breaks for us. We drive it down the field, but after we get seen like we get inside the 40. It's like we just can't move the ball no more. We have to make some type of mistakes, either, you know, mental mistakes or just, you know, individual mistakes. But, um, you know, we're a unit, offensive team, so, you know, we contribute to it all. You know, we all made mistakes. Could it be concentration? Would that be it, or, or can you put your finger on it? I could say it's a lack of concentration myself. We had a good week of practice, and, uh, you know, Coach Majors, he agreed we had a good week. We, even the players felt, you know, we had a good week, tempo and all. But, um, you know, my opinion is just a lack of concentration. Tennessee place kicker Alan Duncan now with us. Alan kicked a couple of field goals in the game against Virginia. Alan, we were talking just a couple of minutes ago about this season, and it just seems like things, the breaks, you know, you just talk about breaks in the game, and Tennessee hasn't gotten many this year, have you? Well, they certainly haven't. However, it's something I found out about life. You've got to make your own breaks a lot of the time. I think our guys went out there and did their very best today. I don't think anybody had the idea that, that they felt like Virginia was just going to roll over and die and give us the game. But I think this is one of those days when being a Christian is a real joy because you know that you've got more purpose in life than just winning ball games. And I'll tell you, nobody hates to lose worse than I do, and I'm not going to give the impression that I think, you know, we ought to just let, let the other guy win so that we can act like a good guy because I hate to lose. But, you know, I, this is just a tough one for me being a senior and homecoming, but you just got to accept it and go on, realize that the sun's going to come up tomorrow morning and we got three more games to play that are going to be very tough and very crucial and every one of them is going to be waiting to jump on our juggler veins. So, we, so we've got our work cut out for us the rest of the season. You talk about the game today, but I think first of all, you got to give Virginia credit. They came in here and played an excellent football game. You know, I think Virginia realized the situation that, that we had been playing some tough teams and weren't really sure of just what kind of a caliber team we were. We knew we were a good team but we weren't sure how good. And uh, I think they, they showed us that we've got a lot of work to do still, that, that they did a good job. They were fired up. They were ready to play ball, and they wanted to win. And uh, as a result, they got their victory, and we sure don't want to take anything away from them on that. It's just hard on us to lose. You know, nobody likes to lose. So the Virginia Cavaliers spoil the homecoming of the Tennessee Volunteers 16-13. Next week, the Volunteers have the weekend off, and then in two weeks, they play Ole Miss in Memphis. Bob Kessling reporting from the Tennessee locker room.